Samisa, you've been on a remarkable journey from a village in Fiji initially through the, the British Army, Bath, to, to sit here today. If you, starting at the beginning, tell me a little bit about what your life is like in Fiji as a, a young man. Um, well, my life, my, seven years ago, it was um, nothing special, to be honest. Uh, training with my, my village team, and uh, to be honest, I wasn't really the first choice wing out there. There's always one better than me. And um, the recruitment team came over to Fiji. They gave, gave out a couple of forms. I filled in a couple of paperwork, sent it through, and um, a couple of months later, I got the invitation letter to join, to join the, the British Army, playing a little bit of sevens rugby with my unit. And then um, I was selected to join the, the British Army sevens team. I started playing 15s for the Army too as well. And uh, we went to Portugal for a training camp, uh, 10 days training camp, and we played against Newcastle Falcon. And back then it was uh, Mike Ford and, uh, and Gary Gold was coaching for them. And I played and they spotted me over there. They called my boss, they called my unit, and um, they were asking for my number and everything. And um, my boss turned around and said, right, these guys uh, want you for a two weeks trial period with, with Bath and Newcastle. Spend like a couple of days in, uh, in Newcastle and then move over to Bath. Um, Mike Fortner said, right, if you continue to impress out there in the, in the field, we'll, we'll offer you a contract. And that's exactly what happened. It's a, a, a long journey, yeah. So why did you decide to, to come to England from, from Fiji? Um, was it a family tradition? Is there, is there a tradition of army personnel in your family? In my family, army is, is in our blood. It's, um, it goes back to my great, great, great granddad that represent Fiji. Um, then my great granddad, now my dad and me. So uh, whenever I turn around and saw my dad putting all these uniforms on and the medals across his chest, I was like, one day I'll get my own medal. And it's all in the blood, yeah. Tell me a bit about your military career and the places you've been, what it's involved, those sorts of things. Uh, uh, did this uh, competition, it involves all the army around the world. It co it's called Camp Patrol, which is a, it's a 84 mile run, a tap and run, uh, three days. It, it's like a, a race. And we came third, and I was pretty tough. That was uh, the first ever like, uh, achievement I got from the army, and I was really, really happy about it. And then straight to Afghanistan for six uh, six months, I was attached to uh, the four squads, which is uh, ground infantry, and I was doing foot patrols most of the time. First week out there, um, things happen: uh, grenades thrown over the wall. We're getting uh, shot at like pretty much every day, and then watching. Uh, a fellow soldier I lost both of his legs by stepping onto an IED. That's a big uh, thing for me. And to be honest, um, I won't forget that. It's always there. Did those experiences change yeah, your outlook? Did yeah. they change you as a person? And well, for me, the way I see it, if that was me losing both legs, and you know, I love rugby, and rugby is uh, pretty much anything to do with rugby, put my name down. You know, that's me. I'll be there right there. with the thought of like losing both legs. You know, without, we won't be able to play rugby anymore. The kind of um, you know, um, it kind of pushes me. You know, to take every opportunity like, as it comes along. Have you surprised yourself with your progression? Did you did you think you'd be sitting here a couple of years ago? A couple of years ago, not at all, no. The army was it, that was it. There's no uh, plan B, uh, go out there in the army, send money back home, you know, support the family back home, brother, uh, young brother and sister, their tuition fee, and then go to a half, pe half pension point or full pension and then go back home. That was it. This rugby career, this rugby um, uh, journey is uh, not really in plan. Have you changed physically as well? Uh, have you become a, a different yeah, athlete? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I joined Bath. I was 84 kilogram, and um, before the the, the first season, and I was 103. It was a you know massive improvement for me. Running with that pace, you know, carrying that extra 10, you know, 12 kg on, you'll make dominant carry every time or dominant hit. So yeah. You spoke earlier about um, your, your father being in the army, your brother being in the army. How proud are they of you that you're going to get this chance on Saturday? Uh, they're really proud. Uh, I can hear in their voice, you know, um, we went on Skype and uh, all they can say is uh, I'm really, really chuffed about this. Really, Go there and do us proud. 
what about your army colleagues and army army personnel around the world? How do you think they feel? Well, it's similar to as well. I've been talking to a couple of my boss, and they were they were, they were over the moon about about me being selected for for England and uh, to go out there and represent England and to sing the national anthem. And it's going to be a massive honour. Whereas it was me being out there to represent all the the army as a whole. Whereas uh, whereas the British army or any army in the, uh, in the world. So yeah, it's gonna be a massive honor.